This is Mature Living, and thank you for being with us. I'm Mary Yanez, Director of the Senior Adult Program. And as you know, we offer fantastic classes through the program. They're free for seniors 55 years and older, and this is one of them. It's called Expressions of Life, and the students in, in the classes that have been going on for a couple of years have created two of these beautiful uh, booklets of writings. And with us today is Nancy Green, who's the instructor, and she's going to share all about the project, the writing projects of the Expressions of Life class. Thank you for being with us, Nancy. Thank you for inviting me, Mary. Tell me about the class first and how it all got started. Remember that? Conversation? Yes. <laughs> yes, in your office, we were talking about so many subjects, the importance of engaging community in the work of the senior adult program, and more importantly, how, how crucial it is for so many people to document their lives. Their memories. Seniors. Wow. Yes, it, so nice. that it becomes a legacy for their families. Uh -huh. You know, that the grandchildren can, can read a story that his or her grandmother uh, wrote yes know, and it's real it's based on 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 that person's life yes. and that family's uh, journey and the classes are currently being held at Centro Mujeres de la Esperanza tell me and of course this particular project is called Arbol de la Vida mm -hmm. and it's bilingual right it's a bilingual yes. piece uh, and there's poetry and stories and all kinds of things in here and tell me about your class the tree of life this particular project, it, uh, the class uh, is a 12-week 12 12-week 12 uh, class. We meet once a week on Tuesdays at Centro Mujeres de la Esperanza for two hours. Uh, we do writing, we have pláticas, we talk about our own lives, about issues that are important to us. Right now the women are talking about domestic violence, for example. What uh, advice would they give uh, persons who are in in a domestic violence situation, both the the person who is being abused and the abuser. That is so interesting, so so needed. We even have centers, you know, for women and, and families and children to go to uh, to to escape. And so these these pieces of advice, I'm sure, are very valuable. Yes, and this is something that we share openly. Though, in for each class, we have a class project, and this for this semester, the Tree of Life. Is to the writings uh, that include a recipe that you wrote. Yes, that, and my, that you shared my with mom's it. recipe for, and it's coming up Thanksgiving. It's right around the corner here, and it is a, a dressing for the turkey. You know, a turkey dressing, stuffing, a beautiful Jewish recipe that she made, and we passed it down down through the generations, and we want to continue that. And we, it's, it's in here as well. Yes, and so you know we have different uh, students who wrote about their grandmothers and the impact that the grandmas had in our lives. I wrote about my grandmother as well and included it in the, in the project because even though uh, as the instructor I go in and I facilitate the sessions, the learning sessions, I too am part of the group, I too am part of the community and that's something that the senior adult program teaches us. Yes. You know, that when we volunteer, to be and in getting involved in the different programs that you put together. There is so much uh, art, you know, that you promote and in different ways. And so in every chance we get, we learn from those experiences. And that's what Expressions of Life is really about. It's about how, what have we learned from our journey? Yes. You know, and how do we express it? Is it through music? Is it through visual art? A mm -hmm. lot of the, the students uh, draw beautiful yes. paintings or is they, they do drawings, they paint, you know, beautiful pieces that then they share with their families. That is yeah. so Im important and these are available. I, I'd like to just say that if anybody wants one of these booklets, they can call us at 831-7801 and we'll make one available to you. Uh, you can pick it up at the El Paso Community College, and I'd like to do that. And uh, if anybody's interested in some of these writings, and let's see how many calls we get. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're exciting in that, again, the, the reflections, the, a woman writing for the very first time 
about the kind of remedios, the remedies yes. that she uses to heal herself and heal her family. And many times there were large families, so they couldn't afford to go to a physician, but a doctor, a family doctor, so they would go to the pharmacist yes. or they would go to each other, to yes. the neighborhood and said, how can we take care of this hoarseness or this cough or this bronchitis or whatever, yes. you know? And they, they talk about that. Yes, they do. It can be anything from pomada de la campana to the hierbabuena, manzanilla. The uses of. Yes. And there is one woman who, <laughs> who wrote a, a poem where she lists different ingredients. And she says that one of the, th one of the last ingredients is uh, uh, some chewing gum because her friends then come around and they have a good time. So the way she switched that, you know, from a remedy to just being able to socialize with her friends and be funny, you know, just tell different jokes. And the treat at the end is the chewing gum. Yeah. <laughs> that is so <laughs> Chicle good. motita. Yes. <laughs> and and all, all, her, all her friends stick to her. Yeah. Because she had some chicle motita. You know, and so it's, the, it's those, those funny moments that we, we really enjoy. And then we're always learning. We get into some deep, uh, subjects, but then we come up for air. Absolutely. And laugh. Keep right on <laughs> And keep right on going. <laughs> keep right on going there's and start laughing. There's always a new day. <laughs> Every time. And then we use a technique of after we talk about certain issues that are important to us, then we write about them. It's easier to write then. Yes. Because a lot of times uh, writing can be intimidating. And a person might say, I don't know what to write about. But if we just had a conversation, or maybe a half hour conversation about subjects that are of interest to us, then it's easier is to, to use that as a prompt. And next thing you know, a person who has never written in their life is not worried about grammar or anything, will address those issues. Just like with the English classes. Yes, that, you, that you also have the English class over at uh, Father Martinez at yes. the, in the Valley. And there are a lot of the, the students who are anxious to learn the language, but they also need to understand what they're saying because sometimes they might uh, use certain phrases and then the other person that they're talking to assumes that they understand English and they start talking to them about all kinds of things and they look at them and say, wait a minute, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> can you say that in Spanish or I'm not understanding everything. And so it's about how do we interact with each other mm. in a positive way and then learn from each other always. And these have been very popular classes and of course we want to talk and invite you uh, to, to, to ask about our Expressions of Life class that Nancy Green, mm -hmm. uh, our instructor, teaches and of course her English class as well, ESL. And so we've run out of time on this little moment of conversation but you know we want you to call us and ask for the booklet because you're going to enjoy it. And the number is 831-7801. Thank you for being with us, Nancy. I really appreciate your time. I know you're heading to class now. Yes. And uh, congratulations on this beautiful piece of, of uh, writings and work. Book Thank you, Mary. Thank you for your support and for your leadership and for making the work of the students available to the community. Great. Thank you so much. We'll be back with another guest. As promised, we have another guest, another wonderful instructor, kind of new to the senior adult program. His name is Choi. He is our Tai Chi instructor who teaches at the Polly Harris Senior Center for us. And he has a marvelous Tai Chi class. And we want to find out about Tai Chi and how, how it fits into our lives and how it can benefit us. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you Choi. for having me. Thank you. They call you Choi, right? Yeah. Uh, all the students you teach, where else do you teach? I teach the UTEP, the YWCA, EP Fitness, yeah. And also and at Memorial, I believe, and yeah, of course at Poly Memorial, Harris yeah, Senior Center, yeah. Okay, and so you, you have quite a bit of experience. What is, tell me about Tai Chi. Tai Chi, in Tai Chi we, first we work on the, our consciousness to control our muscle movement. So when we move around, uh, we control our muscles. Uh, at the same time, we put our mind uh, into our movement. So we practice uh, our mind 
and then body, and then the hands and feet. So all got to be coordinated. So in regular exercise, uh, their hands and feet, they go move everywhere. separately, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but in Tai Chi, we coordinate. Uh, hands goes, uh, foot goes, uh, hands goes, uh, foot goes. Your body moves, uh, feet moves, uh, hands moves. Uh, and then you practice the mind. Put your mind here, put your hands here, and then feet there. Wow. So your mind, body, limbs. Mind, body, limbs. So. Beautiful. I would like to see if Mature Living could go take the cameras to one of your classes. That will be and wonderful. And with your students, yeah. if, if they say it's okay. Yeah, that will be wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. And so the motions are very precise. Yeah. Um, I know you've given some demonstrations, uh, you know, and, and uh, it, those students are fantastic, your students. Mm. So Tai Chi, Tai Chi helps in what way? What are the benefits? Well, Tai Chi helps in a lot of ways. Uh, first, uh, in senior uh, population, they are like a problem is about their balancing. There are a lot of people, yes. they concern, they have concerns. Uh, how can I improve my balance? So in Tai Chi, they work on the leg muscles uh, physically and then the mind comes later. But uh, physically, they can realize, ah, I, my legs get strengthened because uh, they, like, uh, they use a lot of leg muscles, uh, big, large muscles. Also, it uh, increases the metabolism. And then this balance is very good, the Tai Chi. They shift from left to right. Tai Chi about shifting your weight because yin and yang, Tai Chi has a uh, yang, and when there is a weight, uh, it's yang kind of positivity. And when there is empty stance, uh, there is a uh, yin. Uh. So yin and yang goes, they shift like a day and night, like a female, like a, they, they constantly shift. Yes. So it's very good for balance. For balance. And then like arthritis, uh, they, they movement, they have a lot of hands, uh, arthritis people, they go like this. Yes, the arthritis. And then we try to relax, we try to relax, and then work on the hands. Uh, so it's good for arthritis. Uh. Let the energy flow. Yeah, yeah, the, all the blood circulation is flows down. Uh, flows down. Yeah. Where did it originate? Uh, it originated in the China. Mm. Oh. Uh, it was, the in full name is Tai Chi Chan. So Tai Chi means like big extremes, uh, and the positive yin and yang, and the Chan means uh, the fist. Uh. Oh. So nowadays, uh, they, uh, in a lot of people speaking English, they just go by Tai Chi. So when we say Tai Chi, it's the same Tai Chi Chan. Huh? Okay. So Tai Chi is about, about a lot of philosophy behind this yin and yang. And there are many styles. Yeah, yeah there are so many styles. You're so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there are so many styles. The uh, most popular one is Chen, Yang, Yin, and Wu. Tho those, those Chen, Yang, Wu, Sun, and Hao, those are popular styles. Uh, and yeah. within each style, there are so many various, like in, in Yang style, there are a lot, a lot of many different styles in Chen. So within each style, there are so many different yeah. styles. And I understand breathing is very important. Also in, in exercising right. and using Tai Chi for health, oh. to improve health. Very good. Balance, yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's about the uh, Qigong, Qigong, Qigong. So Qigong is a breathing exercise. If you look at the Chinese world, the Qi has a shape of the face, the nose and mouth, it has a shape of breathing. So when we breathe in, uh, they don't have to memorize all the Tai Chi movements, so memorize a few movements with the breathing. So when you breathe uh, with the muscles, uh, it increases the testosterone levels. Uh, when we drop, when we get aged, uh, we drop the testosterone levels. So it increases the testosterone levels uh, with the breathing, the exercise, uh, moving, that, oh, so good. that that I, that accelerates the whole body system. So it we, it's, it's, it's good for re, re, uh, longevity. Well, you know, when we register our students for Tai Chi, mm. they once they start, they don't want to stop. So it's going to be returning students. Mm. And we want about 20 or 30 students to be in your class in a large room over at Polly Harris. Yeah, yeah, that's Hopefully that, uh, that will continue. Yeah, it was very nice. That's yeah, great. That nice. Um, 
have you seen improvement in, in your students? Yeah, they were asking me, how am I doing? And then they were showing off certain postures. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> they couldn't, some people, they have a hard time to lifting one leg. Yeah, look at me. And then they go, they can go low or they can lift one leg up <laughs> and then they can go to crane spread wings. And maybe now they can go upstairs without hanging on to a rail as their legs get stronger. Right. They can take those steps up, up uh, you know, when they're going, uh, you know, to, to yeah. places. Yeah. Um, it's low impact, so it's perfect for seniors. And our class is free for seniors 55 years and older. All mm. they have to do is register. And registration, by the way, for the new semester mm. is going to be um, the first week of December. First week of December. So get there fast, early, okay. first day of registration, mm. and, and register for Tai Chi with, of course, our wonderful uh, instructor, Mr. Mr. Choi. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Tell me, lastly, what you wanted to talk about. Uh, tai Chi is appealing, um, it's inexpensive. Is it for men, women, and all ages? Yeah, even the children, some children, they, if they are work hard, they can, they can be so good. But when we get to uh, become adult, when we grow up, we need more Tai Chi. Okay. In, 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 in childhood time, they can do like external, a lot of martial arts, uh, it's good. But uh, when we get older, older, we need to work on the internal arts, internal, internal like uh, organ movements, uh, stimulation internally. And then the, when we get older, I think uh, in senior, I think the, a lot of people, they don't move around because they about, they are afraid of being falling down. Yes. And uh, then they need, uh, they need to strengthen their legs yes. because in the culture, we don't use leg muscles. We just sit down and then stand up. We drive. Uh, we don't work much. And in, in reading some of the notes that you brought us, um, it also helps with joints, yeah. uh, joint pain, back pain, mm. uh, fractures, uh, severe osteoporosis, yeah. uh, so many hernias and things like that. So yeah, right. it, it, it helps the overall health. Right. Like uh, yoga also, Tai Chi, they have uh, some kind of twisting movement. Uh, so in pregnancy, uh, it may be avoid, uh, it may be better for them to avoid some like a twisting motions. So yoga also twisting motions. I'm already twisting. <laughs> I, I so really need your the, class. <laughs> other than the severe osteoporosis, uh, the severe like a fracture, so hernia. Other than that, the normally also people, some people, they, they can practice on the chair. Uh-huh. On the chair, they, Bunch. when they move uh, your foot, they lift their hips, right hip bone a little bit, yeah? and then down, and they, they move your lift your left hip bone and down, so. Gosh, there's so, so many aspects of it. I really want to thank you for being with us, Mr. Mm -hmm. Choi, our wonderful professor, our Tai Chi professor for the Senior Adult Program. But we'll have more conversations with him and we'll go visit the class. Okay, we'll be back with another guest. Thank you for being All with right, us. Thank you for having me. I Thanks. appreciate it. Bye. Thank you for staying with us and before we leave you today we have a very special surprise uh, we have the escamillas visiting our studio again and if you want to buy a gift you know for someone special of course thanksgiving is around the corner and then of course christmas it's a beautiful time to give and so they're here to tell us all about what they have for all of us when we visit the escamillas fine art gallery and this is more important it's a studio and a gift shop. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us Gosh. again, Mary. Rachel <laughs> and Alberto Scamilla. Alberto, you've been an artist for how many years? Oh my God, uh, professionally 38. 38 years. Yes, we didn't know that 10 years learning. And uh, uh, yeah, 10 years <laughs> learning, of course. Absolutely. Uh, you are an icon here in, in this community. And your studio is located, Rachel? At 1445 Main Street in historic San Elizario. Yes. What are the things that we want to show today? What, what, what do we want to highlight? Uh, you, yeah, wait, Rachel, <laughs> yes, yes, let me tell you, she's been she, taking she's over. Uh, she's a natural. <laughs> she's a natural. Everybody <laughs> wants a Rachel. Every artist wants a Rachel. Yeah, uh, there you are. <laughs> well, we believe in uh, art for everybody. So we have artworks priced at different, uh, different oh, yes. things for, for gift giving. So we have the, the little mini, I call these mini masterpieces. Yes. And, and those uh, start at 10, they're, they're for $10. And those make nice st stocking stuffers, they're hostess gifts. Uh, and, and then we, 
Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Right. And then we have coasters and we have framed uh, prints. The, yes. Yeah, we the, have large, the large prints, the ones that we uh, can show. The, those, are, those are paintings in the paintings. front. And then we have what they call jaclays, these right here. Uh -huh. This is jaclays. Okay. And uh, those come at different price ranges also. And then my husband can also enhance them. That way you get a piece of his actual brush strokes oh. uh, for the artwork. So you, you determine how much you want to pay on that. Hmm. And we have religious artwork. Oh, okay. this and is a lot beautiful of, a lot of This is uh, Our Lady of Lourdes, his newest uh, painting that he did of one of the, the virgins. And uh, he, he does also commissions on, on, um, on religious artwork. And um, we have different, uh, we have note cards of that. We've, we've oh, got I see this one right here of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And yes, we have. This the, one's called Faith? Yes. Yeah, this one's called Faith with Jesus, and this is Our Lady of Guadalupe, which we had, the other day we had a lady come in to buy note cards of Our Lady of Guadalupe because she said she's been all over El Paso and has not been able to locate note cards with Our Lady of Guadalupe. So we have those in our gallery also, which you can, in the front there we have the, 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 the note cards. Which is the most popular one that you have? Our most popular piece is uh, The Immigrants, uh, which is to a tribute to my grandmother, which my husband painted how many years ago? 26 years ago, and the original. Yes, the and original. yes, and Cormac McCarthy, the famous author, owns the original of that one. And we get so many people asking, well, what's the story behind that yes, painting? Because yes. it's so different than what he usually does. So what I did is I, I typed up a little story about it, and I have it right there next to the anything that we sell that has to do with uh, the immigrants. Yes. So people um, can see the story about it, and then we also give them a copy of that. One. You have coasters, you have uh, the cups that are beautifully done. I mean, so professional, everything's wrapped. Everything. And, uh, wrapped. and the prices are great. <laughs> right, and we have paperweights also, and, and mugs, just about anything you can think of for gift giving we have in our shop. That's wonderful. In our gallery. Tell me how you're feeling these days, because I know we're getting older, <laughs> uh, and your maybe your hand doesn't move like it used to. Like it used to. Uh, it looks like you're having a lot of fun. Well, that's what um, keeps me going. I, I've been blessed. Uh, I have a job, a uh, profession that uh, I, it's a blessing to sti still be here after 38 years as a professional artist. But of course, my wife, the one that uh, we came together, and uh, but lately, uh, I, you know, you had surgery on my on my elbow, my hand, uh, about five years ago. Twice twice oh my goodness. and finally uh, Dr. Monsevice kind of woke me up and said uh, that's it my friend uh, that's, you that's can't a nerve do the big damage anymore. you can't so I just paint what you have to paint and slowly so I used to give a lot to charities uh, donations and uh, I just can't do that anymore I'm just doing commissions yes. and painting on the side for talking myself. about commissions <laughs> I know there's a very popular guy that hangs out at your gallery well he lives there <laughs> <laughs> with y'all who, who is this and what's his name oh my that's my good buddy uh, Monet Monet he, he, he's a rescue guy uh, uh, a friend of mine found him uh, six years ago this coming Thanksgiving is that so and he was about three months old, the vet said, and he didn't have any ID, didn't have anything on him that uh, would say. So, ev well, eventually uh, we, we got him and we kept him, and he's very close to Rachel, more than I think he's close to me, but uh, his <laughs> mommy. That's why he calls her. And every family has a special pet. Monet is, is your poodle. Yes, yes, he, he's, he's part poodle and part chihuahua, would you believe? Oh my we God. had a DNA test done on him because <laughs> we, we wanted to find out for sure what he was. And, <laughs> and we get so many compliments from people that come people in. People just come in to see. They, he's, an ice, see he's an icebreaker when they come into our gallery. Oh, they, that's they wonderful. Love him. And you commission, you also can do oh, pets. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, through this, I did this painting about, uh, about four years ago, I believe. Uh, to replace my wife's portrait, but the, the <laughs> first one, it didn't go well. But, yeah. but, I, but he sits for you. Uh, oh, he he sits for me as well when I painted him. But uh, and we have the uh, he prints cards at the gallery. People that come and they just see him and they would like to have their dogs painted. Well, we would like to invite him to the show. <laughs> uh, that's for sure. Yeah. We have because another little dog right there. Oh yes, you do. And this is another one that a you want to yeah, this, is show. this was commissioned. Uh, it was a Chihuahua dog. One of their customers came in that had bought another painting asked my husband if he could do his uh, little chihuahua, which he did. And then he did this one, he liked it so much, and now he wants him to, to paint his more. other little chihuahua that they just bought. Oh, so he does do uh, uh, portraits on, on pets on also. Pets. So he does work there, I mean, he does bring business. Yes. <laughs> and so all we have to do is bring a, a photograph, and uh, you can work on it. Definitely, yes. More than glad to, please. Yes. Um, so many beautiful things. I noticed that this is the, this is the, called the rake, and I was Raking. just showing it in the miniature. 
right? Right. right I was showing the, what is it called? It's called raking. Raking. Yes, yes. Okay. And we have it in different uh, subject matters, whether it be a coaster, a mug, note cards, anything you see online also. We have a website. Anything you see online, we can create any, any of the gift items. Super. What about the larger paintings? What, the, the, the landscapes. The landscape, well, I Tell am me a about that. I am a landscape painter from <laughs> day one. That's what I, what I paint, and I love to paint. The ones that, you, I, that I have here, originals, are the um, uh, snow scene, which is time of the year. And that's yes. between Rio Dosa and Cloud Croft. Uh, the snow and the, the other ones, uh, I love the ocean. <laughs> I oh, in West yes. Texas. I yes. love sailboats. And yes. so I do a lot of uh, 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 ocean, uh, rivers, sea, uh, sands. Lakes, uh -huh. But they're, they're very popular uh, and they, they do move a lot. But that's a new one right there. It's, it's a sailboat. So, so I, uh, I do paint, as I said, uh, mostly commissions, but on the side I paint what I love to paint, uh, the compositions. And I'm being blessed at my own pace. I take commissions. And with one um, thing that, huh? that I do it on, at my own pace. Yes. It's not yes. Uh, that I'm going to finish it next month. I did a painting uh, that took me a year, yes. and they were patient to wait. Wonderful. And so, no, I, it's a, but what's happened, and this is very interesting, the last, uh, what, three years or so, I, w I was on, on request. I was asked to do a painting, uh, a religious painting as a fundraiser for, uh, for the church, for the fund. And um, so uh, I told Rachel, you know, I not to because I don't want to, but I'm a, I've been in a landscape for so many years. But uh, part of my therapy, physical therapy, was to, to start painting again. So I told Rachel, instead of giving them a print, I'm going to give them an original. Oh my and I said, I'll, I'll do an icon. That way it don't have to be, you know, perfect. perfect. <laughs> yes. But as I, as I was painting, my hand just wouldn't go that way. And it was kept coming up to all the different... Uh, I don't know why or what, but the, 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 what came out was the Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace, Renaissance style. And that surprised me so much that... Uh, it's almost like a miracle, like the it, hand was moving where it, it, did, it needed it to did. go. It did. I don't know, but, uh, but uh, when I showed it to Rachel, I said, this is ours. We're going to keep it. Uh, when I said that, I felt a tap on my back of my head. I said, okay, blessed mother, it's not for us. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to give it up. <laughs> I did. And so, so from that, uh, I've been asked to do, uh, for the church, the building fund, uh, about nine blessed mothers. Oh, that's so beautiful. And so it's... Um, we hope you continue event. all this beautiful uh -huh. feeling that I get when you come to visit Mature Living. And when you, and I've got to get to that studio. <laughs> and every time you come, I buy something. Uh -huh. And you know what? You can't help it. You can't help loving art and loving the people that create it. And come out to our event that's going to be on December the, the yes. 5th and the 6th. The we're having our special Christmas extravaganza, 10% okay. off of everything in our gallery. And we're going to have a live singer performing named Rocio Manriquez. She's okay. an opera student from UTEP. So we hope to see everybody out there yes. on December 5th yeah. and 6th. We certainly will. And we'll put that on the screen so that everybody can go. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for being with us. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>